up this morning. So today we are gonna be taking the cargo down to storage. We're gonna go down to the place, we're gonna check it over, we're gonna look at it, we're gonna make sure the cargo will fit back in there, and then we're gonna come back and pick it up and we're gonna take the cargo down to storage. Well, we're getting ready to for a big summer trip. You make sure the house is ready and the cargo, so we had to find a place for the cargo. So right now, Zach's in talking to the guy. We finally found the perfect place to keep the cargo over the summer and to store all our stuff there and it will just hang out until while we travel around. So Zach's taking care of that. We're hanging out. We're gonna get some more stuff done today, make sure the truck and the house are ready to move that far and just move around. And we just thought we'd take you along. Let's see where it goes. Hi. Hi. That is all the tanks that we own, except for the 230s. So you might be wondering, what do we have that is worth storing? Well, we're gonna store our winter clothes. We're gonna store a few things that really don't work in the house, like this kid's kitchen. I'm not sure if you guys can see that because it is so dark in here. But it's just a few things like that. Um, there's my real old backboard. There's the stand to our fireplace kit. There's my drill guard, which is broken and rusted out. And I, there's, there's a lot of this. It may seem like there's no reason to store it, but it's sentimental stuff and it's stuff that we have. Like the plastic drawers that are in there behind the propane tanks. They're what, 50 bucks? I don't want them during the summer because I only use them to hold coats and winter, winter hats and you know, that kind of stuff. So it's in my way in the house during the summer. If you add up all the things that I use in the house during the winter that we don't use during the summer, it would cost us more than the $100 it cost me to store this for the summer. So really, there's nothing of value that anyone's gonna break in here for. It's just all stuff of ours. Oh, and you may be wondering why the propane tanks are in here. Well, the propane tanks are in here because the all the, the different storage places that we called around and talked to, this is what they told us to do was put them in here. Now, the man that runs this place, I talked to him yesterday, and this is what he told me to do. All of our tanks are empty. They are as dry as I can get them. I cannot suck any more propane out of them. They're completely empty. So, in theory, this should be safe. This is what everyone tells us to do with them, so this is what we're gonna do with them. I don't have much of a choice other than that. The cargo is all locked up now. I have a lock here on the tongue. This side looks good. Ugh, that was me. That was my GoPro. I have a lock back here, lock back here. Tags are still good. Tire chocks. Another lock and the handle is also locked. So everything is locked up. Everything be, should be safe. We'll see at the end of the summer. At the end of the summer, we will do 
a review on this place. And I mean, as you can see, if you haven't seen my video, how to buy an RV cheap, this is another one of those locations that you should be looking at to contact.